If you've been playing the Overwatch 2 beta, you might be thinking Brawl is in a great spot. After all, Lucia was strong, one of the best heroes in the game, Moira's in great shape in terms of her strength, Arisa seems to be another Brawl tank, though people are undecided on whether she's great or terrible. Overall, seems pretty solid for Brawl, game's going pretty fast, Brawl likes to engage pretty quickly, it doesn't always require as much setup as a dive does, doesn't require things to be worn down as much as a poke comp. Brawl should be in pretty good place. I'm not convinced that that's true. And to sort of lay the foundation to that, let's play a clip from Overwatch League coach. He's the assistant coach for the London Spitfire, Spilo. Is that, especially in like higher ranks and really 100% in the pro level, Bunker, and by Bunker, I don't mean Orisa Sigma Bastion. I just mean any composition that's immobile, just trying to turtle on point, right? Like think like uh, Symmetra May, Ryan Diva. Let's say uh, Moira Lucio, Winston Diva, the five-man dive, they just go to point and sit, you know, and build coal. Bunker is dead. Okay, so that's a problem. And what I think he's trying to describe from this is the play style of, hey, you send your brawl comp to point and you turtle on point. And from that, you just sort of the threat of the threat of capping the point forces the other team who's more mobile than you to fight with you. And that gives you targets to fight with. And that used to be a thing. Um, that used to be a thing. You might go, hey, that's an Overwatch League coach. They really haven't played much of it yet. The Overwatch League coaches really don't know what they're talking about yet. But even at a conceptual level, it makes sense. This was a play style in early GOATS. You would see it come out, and what you're effectively looking to do when you're turtling like this, that's what I'm going to refer to it as, is you're rotating defensive resources. You might go, hey, we wear out our Rhine Shield, or mostly wear out our Rhine Shield, then our D.Va covers things. Then our May can ice block. Then our Reinhardt's shield is ready again. Then we can cycle our D.Va again. Things like that, you're able to rotate resources, and having two tanks is huge for rotating those defensive resources, as they're the best at it. It also helps with the rotation in, as having a second tank means you can answer a second angle. You can answer this way and this way. Rhine shield plus DM. So, that's really helpful. But, if you can't do this, you get into a little bit of a problem with any sort of comp that wants to be brawly. Things that we would traditionally think of as brawl, where you can go, hey, uh, it's okay, we'll just fight people instead of going to point. Well, this comp is always actually preferred to fight people. That's always what it wanted to do. It's just it couldn't force them to except by executing objective pressure. If you look at this, they're going to go try to fight a Tracer. Tracer's going to leave while Genji continues to threaten them from behind. They're going to go push Lucio. Lucio and Genji are going to leave while Tracer threatens them from behind. Okay, there's no one that they can catch except maybe the Zen with some fancy ice wall maneuver or a sim TP or something, and even Lucio's going to see that coming, answer it, he's aware that Zen is their weak spot. Okay, that's annoying, so what do they do? Well, in the past, again, they would go to point, and them going to point goes, hey, hey, we're slowly ticking this up here, you guys have to bring point to people to point to contest, when you bring someone to point to contest, we'll chase them down, and hopefully we'll catch them. Maybe we'll get an ice wall behind them, maybe whatever, whatever the case may be. Well, if you can wear down this comp significantly faster from it not having a second tank effectively it's in trouble because there's always been some ability in this game to go hey let's ping pong a touch over here with our wrecking ball that pulls some people over the wrecking ball leaves the lucio goes and touches on the other side they go over here lucio leaves and while this is happening the dive comp or a poke dive hybrid would be even better at it softens up the comp so I would be worried about Brawl here. Now, lingering contest mechanics aren't as strong as they were in the beginning of Overwatch, so these guys get progress a little faster, but if this turtle style is dead, as we're hearing, and that makes sense, that could really mean Brawl is dead. And you might be going, well, well hold on, hold on, why, is, why does Brawl have to be dead? This is such a one-dimensional Brawl Cup, you can build a better Brawl Cup. More modern Brawls would put BAP, for example, in, and maybe instead of putting Reaper in, would also put Casty in, and then you've got some good poke elements, and that's solid, why don't we just do this? Okay, well, let's go ahead and trade a poke element into Dive as well, that's only fair, and now let's run this same similar experiment. So, you know what, let's flip it, let's pretend I'm not going to flip the map, but let's go, hey, we've got set up like this, we've got a set up over here like this, and then maybe like this, and now our Brawl Comp has some angles, can do some poke, they're going to play into their poke win condition. 
well, okay, they can play under their poke win condition all they want, but as the dive team starts to stage, they're always going to collapse, because if they don't collapse, too much of their peel is short range. That's how Brawl has traditionally worked. Reinhardt cannot peel for the Kree group if they're split. Mei is not as good at peeling if they're split, but Mei does more damage if she has an off angle, so it's a bit of a conundrum. Poke doesn't really run into this, because Poke peels for Poke pretty well at range, but Brawl-Poke hybrids they start needing to stack as things start to take angles on them and get prepared to dive. If they don't, we see, hey, the casty gets eliminated. Ooh, that's a little bit of a problem. So then if there's the threat of them, if they go to stack to avoid getting dove, okay, no big deal. But now they're in a situation where the red team has angles on them and you know what angles do? Angles increase your poke power. So the Brawl team has decreased their poke power, while the Dive team, or in this case Dive Poke Hybrid, has increased their poke power. Even if they were a full Dive team, they'd have increased their poke power by doing this, though. That's a problem. Again, they could solve this problem in some ways by forcing objective pressure. But if that's not viable for them, that means that red team isn't interested in having to take this fight quickly because they can go, hey, let's do a touch and leave. Let's do a touch and leave. Suddenly brawls in trouble. But what do you guys think? Or do you think I'm exaggerating this? Do you think, no, everything will be perfectly fine. 90% of the ladder doesn't understand how to play dive like this. This will never happen in most games. I, I'd actually agree. In most games, this really isn't a problem because someone on your team is going to int effectively. They're going to go, I want to shoot at the red enemy in front of me. I have short range. I'm going to get close and go fight it. Or, oh, the point's starting to get capped. I've immediately got to go fight it. But lower level play will at some point start to reflect higher level play, as it always does as time goes on. And this sort of thing doesn't seem like it would be viable, even when you've worked in some poke heroes into your brawl here. So I'd have some serious concerns. Now, can you go, hey, we're going to totally split it up and take angles and flank and play like that? And can you win some fights? You can absolutely win some fights because your Cassie outmuscles their soldier. The red tracer messes up and gets caught by May or Lucio, whatever the case may be. There's some fights that can go the other way. But at a macro level, this sort of brawl team, any sort of brawl team really, is fundamentally dependent on the threat of being able to turtle point and put objective pressure. And if they can't, they just lose in map control. And again, swapping in some heroes like, oh no, it's okay because we have a Casty, we have a BAP, that doesn't really solve the problem. If you play for angles, you get surrounded and dove by the more mobile team. But is that okay because now every DPS is 10% faster? Seems unlikely because those dive heroes are faster too. But let me know in the comments what you think. Am I ringing the alarm bell on nothing? Is it okay for this to go away? I'm less worried about poke even if dive is super strong because poke can always be tuned up. More one shots as much as people might not like it. That sort of thing to make it viable compared to dive. I'm a bit more worried about brawl because to make brawl viable you effectively have to give it the silly amount of sustain necessary to threaten point caps here. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're enjoying the content, drop a like, consider subscribing for more Overwatch 2 updates and the like as we head towards this game, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Temporal out.